just wanted to do a pregnancy update. I am 25 weeks, um, what day is it, Wednesday? So I was 25 weeks yesterday. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, but I'm definitely feeling pregnant now. Like I'm really starting to feel pregnant. Like it's getting harder to do a lot of things. Um, I did go to a doctor's appointment, just my local GP. Um, she She's usually pretty good, but because of all my appointments have been with my hospital, I haven't really gone to see her a lot. And I a lot of my appointments have been over the phone um, because of COVID. So I haven't really got to see anyone to make sure that, um, like that I'm okay. So I just wanted to get my blood pressure tested and I wanted to see if I've put on enough weight, which I have. I've put on, I think like seven and a half kilos. Um, so I started before I was pregnant, I was 45 kilos, um, which it's really tiny, I know, but I've always been really small. Um, and 45 is a really healthy weight for me personally. Um, so I think I weigh like, 52 and a half or 53 depending on what time of the day I weigh myself but um yeah she was pretty happy with all of that um I did notice a change in her um attitude towards me when I declined the whooping cough whooping cough whooping cough that vaccine she um she didn't even really ask me she more just said like come in we'll do that for you and um when i declined it she like freaked out and um kind of just she changed after that and then anyway um i am getting stronger at saying no to things that i don't want to do but it's still so confronting um because i know why I'm not doing it and I know that I've spent years researching why I don't think they're necessarily great for you but as soon as someone confronts me about it it's like all the information kind of disappears and I like go blank and don't know what to say and I get really flustered because I, don't, I hate conflict and I, I don't want to make the doctor feel like I'm better than her and anyway so she was really just like short with me when I went into the office and kind of dismissive, didn't really want to talk or chat um, like she usually does. So I, yeah, I probably won't go back to her unless I really have to. I just feel like I should have trusted my gut instinct. I kind of in my head thought I don't even really need to go because I feel fine. But I just, because this is my first time, um, my first baby, I just didn't want an underlying issue to be there that I didn't know about. So anyway, that's that story. Um, I am feeling a lot slower. Like I, I've been going on walks with my husband, like when I can be bothered. Um, but even then, like I get so puffed out and like if it's longer than a half an hour walk, I'm so sore after it, like my back starts killing me. Um, I'm going to just get really out of breath and I just need to sit down. So that is becoming harder. Um, so I've tried to substitute my walks with just more um, stretching for ligament pain and lower back pain and um, just opening up my muscles more so I'm not so tight. Um, yeah, getting the hardest thing right now is getting out of bed like not physically getting out of bed like I'm awake early and I want to get up like I cannot get out of the bed I have to literally <laughs> roll out like I have to I can't just get up because my muscles like um I don't know if this has happened to a lot of any other mums watching but like my tummy's starting to um cone do that cone shape which means um my ab muscles have separated which is completely normal in pregnancy and it happens to everyone but I think um, because I'm not someone who was super fit before and I wasn't always using my ab muscles and my core um, 
my body doesn't really know what to do like when I'm straining and stuff so I've had to kind of train myself to really wrap my abs around my tummy and um, use those core muscles when I'm getting up out of a seat getting up off the couch getting out of bed um, and if I can't do that then I have to kind of ro roll to my side like I literally feel like a, a ball rolling it's so funny um, like and I've got a bean bag and I literally cannot even sit on this bean bag unless Trav my husband pulls me up and it's just so funny um, yeah my belly button has fully popped out and I hate it but um because I used to have a really cute little innie belly button yeah so that's sticking out now but that's normal so what can you do um as usual I've written notes because I always go over the time limit and go off um, topic and I really want to try and keep these videos to like 15 minutes because I always go over half an hour and I know people can't be bothered listening to people rant for that long I'm like me I love watching those videos so yeah it has been really not it's been hard to get out of bed but it's also been really hard getting comfortable in bed like I have so many pillows around me and like Trav falls asleep straight away and he gets up so early and um, because I'm turning from side to side constantly like every half an hour like I make so much noise and I because you can't turn quickly with a baby inside you like you're so um, constricted and have to move sort of slowly so you don't startle the baby um, that's been so super hard like I just I cannot get comfortable it takes me hours to get comfortable um, and to be honest all I want to do is lay on my back I just want to sleep on my back and I've never been a back sleeper but all I want to do is sleep on my back and I know I can't do it unless I've got a lot of elevation behind me so that sucks but that's like the worst of my problems so I am so lucky um, another thing that I've noticed is that I cannot eat big meals anymore um, my the way I used to eat was like I would have a huge breakfast a you know a decent lunch and usually a big dinner and they're like my three meals I don't really snack a lot um I've always just had like one sorry two to three larger meals and they're usually carb loaded so like I get super full but I was used to it and that was the way I used to eat um being pregnant and especially now in my almost third trimester um because all your intestines have moved to a different place and um your body's now accommodating for this baby inside you all of your organs have like squished together like they're usually spread out normally and when you're pregnant they literally all squish together so when I eat too much now I literally feel like the food is like up here like gonna come out and it's so uncomfortable so I have to eat really like small little meals throughout the day um, which has actually been good like I'm kind of liking that I can have a bit more variety because I'm having like maybe like four to five smaller snack meals instead of two to three huge meals. Um, so some extra things I have been taking since my last video is I'm now taking, not every day, but I bought some collagen from Nutra Organics. It's over there, but I can't be bothered getting it. Um, and it's just like a scoop of that in like liquid and it's meant to help um, your skin, your nails, your hair, the elasticity of your skin um, to help with like the stretching. I'm pretty sure you can take, it's pregnancy safe and I'm pretty sure you can take it um, before you get pregnant, while you get pregnant, while you're pregnant. Um, not sure about when you're breastfeeding. I'm pretty sure it's breastfeeding safe but you'd want to see how the baby reacts to it if you're breastfeeding. So I don't know. Um, and vitamin D drops, I only just started taking those maybe like a week ago, um, just because it, I thought it would be a lot sunnier here in Australia being that it's spring now, but we've only had a few sunny days and even on the sunny days, I really don't think I spend enough time outside. So, and I was low in vitamin D when I got my first blood test with the doctor, so I've started taking those. Um, I have been more emotional. Like the last two weeks, I find that like movies and 
like music, um, even things that like aren't even sad, like are making me kind of tear up, which I thought would be happening at the start of the pregnancy when all your hormones are kind of all over the place. Um, and I'm still really calm, that hasn't changed, but I just notice I'm more emotional. And that could be to do with like obviously my dad because I go through phases every few weeks where I remember that, like, oh, okay, he's not here anymore and then it really gets to me. Um, so that like, maybe that could be playing into it as well. But um, I have been a little bit more emotional lately. Um, nesting. Um, most of you or like some of you probably know what nesting is um it's something it's a term that like people use um for like late in pregnancy when the mum kind of starts freaking out around the house and just making sure everything's really clean i haven't really gone crazy because i feel like i keep my house pretty tidy anyway but just um i notice little things i want to sort of do like i need to I have to get on top of washing all of the baby clothes and the baby blankets and just everything that the, will be touching the baby on her skin. I need to sort of get that all washed and done. Um, I just kind of want to start preparing a little bit more, like having the house ready, even though I don't know if, if I'm going to be living here. It's still probably not quite baby ready yet. So... That is something I feel like is starting to happen, but I've still got a good three months, hopefully, till she's here. Um, what I still need to do. I have to go and get my um, glucose test in a few weeks um, to test for gestational diabetes. I'm kind of nervous about that because I hate blood tests. Um, and kind of like the fasting and having to wait for hours, like it just seems like a bit of an annoying day, but um, it's not the end of the world. So that's something I still have to do. Um, I still kind of need to meet face to face with some of the midwives. I actually haven't met any of the midwives that will be um, with me during my journey. I've only spoken to two doctors one midwife on the phone I don't even really know if she was a midwife or if she was like a um like in training um so I still kind of need to get a little more familiar with my team I obviously know my doula and I've had a, um, a zoom meeting with her and I talked to her over email but just I think I just need to get to know um, the staff that will be with me and kind of start talking about my birth plan with them. That's something I still need to do. I'm just checking the time. 13 minutes. All right. Hoping I can get through all of this in a few more minutes. Um, what else do I still need to do? Like pack my hospital bags and stuff, but that can come way later. Um... I think that's really it. I feel like I've got everything else under control. Hmm. Feelings on birth. Um, so I have been pretty calm about how I want my birth and what I picture it to be like, but obviously um, I am a bit of an overthinker and like anxiety about certain topics have come up like earlier in my pregnancy but the more research I find I do and the more classes I do and programs I um, sign up to and just reading and watching birth vlogs and just all of it listening to podcasts I just feel like it's really preparing me for like anything that can happen um, I think I'm going to go into my birth plan a lot more aware of um, things that could happen and do I have a backup plan and what are my thoughts if I do end up getting a C-section or if I am induced? Like I just know that at the start I had such a strict birth plan and now I feel like it's a lot more, um, I have my strong beliefs in what I really want. However, if A, B and C happens, this is how I can deal with it. These are the options, blah, blah, blah. So I am feeling a lot more ready for birth as ready as I can be 
um, because at the end of it, you're going to get your baby and it's just so exciting. And I just know that um, every mum I've spoken to tells you that they forget about the pain and everything as soon as they see their baby. And that's what I want to focus on. And I just feel like, um, you know, I've prayed a lot about it. I feel comfortable with my body. I feel like I know a lot of the process of what happens in each stage of labor. Um, and I, I feel like as long as I've read up about most things, nothing should hopefully surprise me. Um, okay. The last thing I just wanted to quickly touch on was the birth programs that I have been doing. So I have already paid and signed up for the Thompson method, which is my breastfeeding program, which I will touch on more in another video because it's super detailed. Um, but I ended up purchasing it when it was 50% off. So I don't know how much it would be now, but I will link it in the description box for anyone that's interested because she is, she's just amazing. Like I wish, um, I wish more people knew about it. Um, so that's one program that I have been doing and I sort of signed up for a VIP edition of it. So I get like a few extras, but, um, studying that has been really interesting because I feel like a lot more empowered about breastfeeding and the common problems that go along with it. Um, another page I've been following on Instagram is Labor Nurse Mama. She's been a labor nurse for over 15 years. Um, she is American, but she has her own page as well where they do free classes, free video classes. Um, so I've been doing those like every day as well, which is really good. Um, and the last one that I will be signing up for, my next pay, it's only a hundred dollars, I'm pretty sure. So it's really cheap. Um, and this one is kind of special to my heart because um, obviously I'm Christian and a lot of what I want in my birth and a lot of how I want to be a parent um, stems from the Bible and the Bible's values and God's values. So I was trying, I have been trying to find any sort of person that has a Christian birthing program and literally there was no one. I found one girl um, and her page is called the Kingdom, Kingdom Child Birth Program and her page on YouTube is a heavenly welcome. Um, so I'm going to sign up for that because I feel like she is exactly what I want to be like. Um, her vision for birth and being a mum was exactly, is exactly the same as what I'm feeling. So um, for any Christian pregnant girls out there that are interested or can't really find resources, that's one that I will definitely put in the description box as well. Um, and I think that that will be amazing for me. Um, yeah, I think that's it. How did I do? 18 minutes. That's pretty damn good. I'll just quickly show you my bump and then I'll go. So, see how my belly button has popped? You can fully see it. I'll actually show you if you want. Oh God. Huge, huge for me. Yeah, that's my little girl. Anyway, um, it might be a while till I do my next video just because I really want to make sure it's on like one topic and not just kind of talking um, about everything. So I will try and pick a topic and really like work with that. <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.